Hey guys, um, so tonight I'd like to talk to you about something I like to call playing the Canadian card. Um, yesterday I was at the train station and I ran out of money on my Oyster card. Now, I have an ongoing battle with my Oyster card. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's, um, this little son of a bee right here. Um, it's supposed to make travel on the tube cheaper, but I actually feel like I'm reloading the things 40 times a week. Um, um, so getting off the train station yesterday, the guy goes, where's your ticket? And I'm like, I don't have a ticket. Because if you travel for a certain time, you can use your Oyster card at some of the train stations. So I was just planning on using that. But then when I went through the gates, I realized I didn't have enough money on my Oyster card. So I explained to this guy that I didn't have a ticket, and he was like, well, you have to pay the £20 penalty fare. I'm like, excuse me? Because my ticket originally only would have cost me like £5. The traveling with an Oyster card would have only cost like 3 or 4 I think. But because I only put change on it ever, I got screwed over. I was like, I'm really, really sorry, but I'm not from here, and I've never done this before, and I just moved here a couple of weeks ago. He goes, where are you from? I'm like, I'm from Canada. So, he goes, you're Canadian, eh? Um, he didn't actually say A, but that just seems to be the general thing you say when somebody says, are you Canadian? Anyway, so he goes, are you Canadian? Yeah, that's the general assumption when somebody says that they're from Canada. Ten minute lecture later, he lets me go through the gates, and that is what I call, my friends, playing the Canadian card. Now, I just want to let you guys know that I'm not planning on doing this all the time, but it did get me thinking about things I possibly could use it for. Example. Um, ma'am, we need you to leave this store now. It's, uh, 10 p.m. The store's closing. It's only 5 p.m. I'm from Canada, and it's only 5 p.m. in Canada right now. N no, I'm sorry, but in this country it's 10 p.m. We're closing the store now. You have to go. It's, it's 10 p.m. But if I was in Canada at this moment, it would only be 5 p.m. But ma'am, you're not in Canada right now. You're in the U.K. You're in... It's... We're on U.K. time. It's not... Shush! <laughs> So, as it would seem, being Canadian does have its benefits. Um, now, in other news, I hope you like that, by the way. Um, in other news, I have exciting things to show you. So, oh, I don't have them anymore. Okay, so these little things, these are Snapple lids. And they came off my juice that I got the other day. Um, I just want to share these with you because they're really neat. So, on the inside of the Snapple lids are, is a little fortune. You guys won't be able to see it. But on this one, it says, Women blink twice as often as men. I don't know if that's true. But it says so on my Snapple lid. And I think these are all true facts. So, they're kind of neat. And this one says, The average person spends two weeks of their lives kissing. Which is a really long time. So, um... Yeah, just thought I'd share those. If you have any cool little Snapple things, share them with me, please, or other useless random facts that you might want to pass along to me, because I like stupid things like this.